Chinese frog. Okay, there's a story. Okay, so here's the deal. My uh, my oldest daughter, Allison, she absolutely loves frogs. And that's like, she actually did a whole graphic design illustration project just on frogs as different characters, different clothes, different walks of life. And uh, today is her birthday. So happy birthday, Allison. I don't know if you're watching, but uh, so I asked her today, I was talking to her, wishing her a happy birthday. She's out in New York City. And uh, she said, oh, do a space frog. I'm like, all right, <laughs> we're going to do a space frog. We're, 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 we're going to do that tonight. Absolutely. It's going to be kind of fun. I haven't done sort of a whimsical, almost cartoony one in a while. So uh, this is going to be pretty cool. Um, and hey, so that's, that, that's why the title includes space frog. So yes, we're going to do space frog. <laughs> Should be a good time. With. We're going to be painting with some acrylics tonight. And I actually have this older canvas. Um, yeah. We're going to give the frog a little little spacey scene and see what we could do here. So I've, I've got a colored pencil. I want to get some I want to get some lines down so we can see where we're going here. I kind of want the top of the frog to be no further here. Da, 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 da. But I, I'm just going to kind of get some frog-like shapes here. And uh, of course, the the nice big eyes because you know they have they have those crazy big eyes. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm just basically drawing the frog that used to be in the Genesee Valley Mall. That's that that's what's happening right now. So yeah, but my favorite part about it is, is kind of taking a character like this and and giving them a uh, um, giving them kind of like a, a different. Different clothing, right? What's going to be hard for me are, are like the arms and things because I'm not entirely sure, you know, how they, what the anatomy is. So I'm just going to get it close and, and rely on my cartooning skills. But yeah, for, for those of you that didn't grow up in the Flint, Michigan area, we used to have this, yeah, the giant frog that you could use as a slide, right? Our, our shopping mall had this big granite sculpted frog. And it was, you know, really smooth and everything. And uh, th they just had it kind of in the middle. It was, it was actually really cool. And uh, we as kids used to climb on this frog all the time. I'm sure it was covered with uh, all the other kids' spit and snot and stuff. But who cared? You were in the shopping mall and you were like waiting for your parents to get done looking for stuff. And we, we were too young to do anything other than run to the toy stores and bother our parents. So we would uh, play on the frog. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> so I guess it's now in a in a botanical gardens. It got donated and cleaned up and everything. It was pretty fun. Um, all of us remember playing on the frog with its big gold eyes. So I'm going to do my nice big friendly frog here. And uh, since he's a space frog, we are going to give him a space helmet. He's going to have kind of like one of these futuristic, uh, you know, body conforming spacesuits, kind of like you'd, you'd see with a... Um, Oh gosh, a Soriyama painting, but he's not going to be not going to be a chrome frog. All right, let's give him a uh, let's give him a little a little goofy scanner because uh, he's you know going to be out in space someplace. And uh, oh, he's got to do the little pinky hold so we can actually see like his little suction cuppy fingers. So yeah, I I don't know what I'm going to be. I, why am I doing this? Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. I've laser force is right, Chris. I've never drawn a frog. Well. At least not on the stream, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna give him a uh, we're gonna give him a fancy fancy scanner. Okay, so frog body, and uh, yeah, they have bigger legs than this. So let me uh, let me do sort of his extend his his leg out here. They have gigantic long legs, actually. So. I have to make sure that I, I accommodate those, right? And then the pads on the feet. All these will be covered by spacesuit, of course. So there we go. We're gonna foreshorten the back leg a bit, so that's gonna go way off in the in the back. And uh, let's see, da, 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 da. not really sure what I'm gonna do with those. He's gonna fold up his legs because I'm running out. I'm running out of pa I'm running out of canvas, I should say. Yo, oh boy. That's okay. <laughs> Surprisingly muscular legs. I, I know he's kind of crouched around, right? So he kickboxes on the weekends, exactly. <laughs> so he's kind of hanging on to like this. He's, I, I think I'm going to make him kind of hang on to this like asteroid is what we're going to do. So we're going to give him an asteroid here. 
and uh, you know give a little little cracks and rocks and things on this. And uh, we'll uh, we're gonna do all that in paint anyway, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. But I want to make sure I, we have to make sure he's cute, right? So we have to make sure he's very cute. And then you know we can't just have a round helmet, so it's gonna have to be a little uh, a little ovoid. There we go. The helmet though will probably be done. We're we're gonna do that in paint as well. So yay. Give him a little bit there. He has a little scanner. All right, I, I I think I'm reasonably happy with like the pose and everything. I I mean you know it's a uh, it 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 seems reasonably cute, right? Oh my gosh, we've we got the big eyes. So yeah, there we go. So I, I'm thinking space background, but not too dark. Uh, I, I want to keep it. I, I want to keep the keep it close to the mid tones here, and uh, we'll be kind of more of a more of a whimsical piece. Oh yeah. Okay, so we, I'm getting some blue in the background here. Oh, that's some seriously bright blue. Holy smokes. I, I've, I've been uh, yeah, playing some dirty tricks with color. My background is a variation of orange, so that's going to probably make this blue just you know, seem like crazy bright, which is, you know, we planned that. That's what, that's what we intended, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna lose the space helmet, but that's okay. I I, I kind of know where that's at. That'll be all right. All right, let's get in. I'm using this gigantic flat brush, and and I have all these like delicate details that I kind of wanna, kind of wanna get around here. Uh, so we'll just we'll just do the best we can. There we go. All right, let's get some darks in here. Let's see if I'm still on there. There we go. Yeah, still on, still in the camera. I kind of come in here and. We're going to have sort of the, uh, you know, Hanna-Barbera style space background. So this is going to be like more like space that you would see on something like the Jetsons. Giving giving Space Frog here a little blue space background. Yeah. And maybe I'll make this side a little darker. We'll just, we'll just do that in general. And um, pull this on in here. That's a really that's a brighter blue than I, I thought I was gonna gonna do. That you know what? We're gonna make it work. Like I said, you know, Hanna Barbera style of that. So I'm gonna go over here with my green. Grab some of my cadmium yellow. Let's see if we can't brighten this up a little bit. And I, I went with a phthalo green, not cadmium green, sorry, phthalo green. Because I knew I needed a nice bright green. So there's a that's actually a pretty decent bright green right there. We're gonna get. We want them kind of going on and blotchy here. Oh, that's green! Holy smokes! <laughs> yeah. Let's get him a little, little bit in his nostril here, because I want some detail in there. There we go. We're gonna get little green. And I can't remember exactly what the shape of the of the frog nostril is. So I, I hope I'm getting this right. There we go. A little bit of dark there. And you're forgetting, Chris, that he has a mouth. So let's get his mouth on here. This way we won't won't forget it as we're putting the bright greens in. And I'm just going to be going in between here. A little darker, a little lighter. Although I think I made a graphic design mistake. I think my green and my blue are like the same tone. <laughs> ah, maybe it'll maybe it'll be close. Well, it'll be close. Okay, I'm gonna get his mouth in there a little bit. There we go. Just rendering a frog. There we go. I'm I'm kind of progressively getting lighter to this side. I want the light to be on the left side of the painting here. There we go. Oh yeah. We're getting we're getting the we're getting the frog here. We're getting the frog territory. Yeah, we're, we're what do you use to darken green? That's the 
here artist questions on the fly like more blue i'd probably be thalo blue wouldn't it okay it is kind of nice working on a smaller a smaller scale though I, I will admit that let's see if i can't darken in some of his some of his head shapes here and then he's got kind of I, there's a transition zone here somewhere where he kind of goes to that uh that sort of soft underbelly boom boom Usually my, my painting subjects have nacelles and other fun things on them, but <laughs> yeah. There we go. Anatomy can be tricky. Yeah, it really can. It's a, uh, I, I will say this though. It's a, uh, it, it's a, it's almost more of a pleasure though, to sort of like, uh, uh, paint these forms without worrying too much about whether you're going out of the lines because of a technical manual. None of this, none of this, would you see the other eye thing? Now nah, we're just going to, we're going to do the, uh, you're going to see the edge of the slit of his eye. There we go. Because that's going to help me define him. Let's get some let's get some eye action going. So, we are going to I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start him with the orange. Although I think they're more red and yellow, but I want I want orange as my base here cuz it works so well with the green, right? We're going to get some indication of some color here. There we go. Bring back some orange. There we go. Get this a nice mixture on in there. Yeah, there we are. That's an orange eye. Holy smokes. That is a seriously orange eye. Now I'm kind of now I'm kind of forgetting what the pattern of of, of things are in a in a tree frog's eye because I don't think it's all like this. I think we got it some got some yellow spots kind of in there in the iris, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, you got to have like you know the white dot on here. There we go, just to give it a little a little happiness. There we go. Yes. Because, you know, the eyes are shiny. We need this. There we go. Here, we, we are getting a frog here. We are getting quite a frog. So we're gonna give him we're gonna give him his little gray suit here. And let's just see how this works, shall we? Um, uh, up, 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 There we go. I'm gonna try to stay around his hand. I, 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 th I think I'm gonna give him gloves. So I, I really want his hands to be. Um, I'm gonna avoid the hands and things right now. So I needed some. Uh, need some shadows. So I'm gonna grab some of this here. Need the shadow kind of there. Need the shadow up here, kind of in between under there. There we go. Okay, so I want to get kind of a nice edge here. Straight white here. So I know I'm going to want this in here. You know, once I get the asteroid in his, his like gloves and uh, uh, boots in, I'll actually have this whole thing kind of painted up, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. 
And while this is still bright, I want this uh, still wet, I should say. I should want to get this in here. There we go. Like 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 the Apollo astronauts always had like that those really cool anodized red um, locking rings. So I'm gonna do that, and to get it the anodized aluminum part, I want it. I'm gonna start with a dark color. Anodized aluminum of any color is actually really dark, and what you mostly see are the reflections. So there, we're gonna get this, and then like a little locking lug thing out here. There we go. I'm gonna make room for his shoulder. Boop, boop. Ellipses always get me. There we go. Especially with a brush. Oh, bonked it again. There we go. Okay. He's got a little ring for his face helmet. Since we are a, uh, a tree frog, we, you know, tree frog futuristic spacesuit is going to have bright orange gloves, right? I think so. There we go. to get the color down first very bright or very bright orange yeah <laughs> and this is a, got his little pinky out holding his little space scanner thing there we go we got the little scanner boop hand scanner Give it some, a grip, a grippy bit. And an inside bit there. I could probably spend days just doing the chrome on this thing. Holy crap. I didn't think about that. Get some more white. Yep. There we go. I have no idea what this thing is that he's holding. So it's just his outer space gear. All right, so I'm going to get some shadows in here. Need more. Need more. It actually works better than the red. Okay, cool. It's his, yeah, it's his, that's right, it's a turbo encabulator. Oh my gosh, I love that series of videos. All right, I gotta turn this this way. There we go. Here we are. Now, all of a sudden, this frog's gotten the Marvin the Martian voice in my head. <laughs> it's not your fault, frog. I promise. It, it, it was already in there. I, I, I entirely, my entire life existence was defined by my cartoon characters for the longest time. <laughs> Watched too much Looney Tunes as a kid. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I can, you know, I, I can almost like wake up and, and remember Looney Tunes, uh, you know, either lyrics or, you know, dialogue. And uh, it, it it's crazy. I, I've been affected by uh, Chuck Jones and his merry band of animators. Let's uh, let's get some asteroid action going here. And and we'll be on our way to covering up the the rest of the pal uh, the rest of the the canvas. This is uh this is just cracking me up. <laughs> I got to admit. <laughs> okay, try to get the hand in here. Now it looks like he's underwater in a scuba diving suit. I know it's kind of kind of crazy, isn't it? Well, we'll give him another asteroid out up over here or something. We'll just uh we'll we'll, we'll put in another couple of asteroids with a hunk of paint. We'll just uh, add some 
Some highlights here to the asteroid. Space rock. All right, let's get some more let's get some more asteroidal detail in here. That's the technical term, asteroidal. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to need some more shadow zone here for the inside part of the asteroid there. And we'll get some an edge of the asteroid out there. Okay. What I wanted to do was do this. Need a little bit a little bit of shadow zone that I did not have on this on this frog. A little too wet. There we go. Weird how different subjects make things harder. Um yeah, yes and no, right? But um there's it, it it's challenging and it it does force you to rethink how you would normally go about things and that part is actually a, a net positive right so it's actually pretty cool i i'm i'm getting a kick out of it and and in fact i'm kind of i'm kind of left thinking I don't do enough outside of my normal sphere of influence uh, lately, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to need to step out just a little bit. And uh, yeah, because honestly, there I had a lot of fun doing that frog's face. No, no lie. So yeah, I I think there's definitely. Uh, definitely an opportunity for me to check out a few other things. So yeah, good times. It's fun. Oh, you need to start your dragonfly over. Oh no, no, don't start it over. No, no, your dragonfly is cool. And we all want to kind of see how it goes. But yeah, I know. Right, you you get into the middle of a project and you're like, oh, I should have done it this way. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't hit the reset button. Yeah, push on. Do finish it up. Uh, even if you do it again later, like do another one. But yeah, it's um. I think that's kind of half the battle, right? You go through something once, and sometimes you notice what works and what doesn't. It means you're all set and primed the next time you do it. <laughs> you know, easy for me to say. But, uh, all right, let's give it a little antenna, shall we? There we go. A little tiny bit on there. Oh, man. Thank you, acrylic paint, for all drying up on me, because that's what I needed you to do, yes. There we go. Need some more color on these guys. Yeah, there we go. They're in kind of this blue area that's actually more... Um, it's actually darker enough to the point where it's not really registering as a separate object, unfortunately. Okay, we'll make this work. All right, let's grab some of this. There we go. All right, we are going to do that, that. Trying to go for the, the anodized look here, although I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off that well. That needs to be just a hint of a of a shadow around his eye socket too. Yeah, 
There we go. That, that helps them out quite a bit. Okay. All right. Let's get some stars, shall we? I think we need a couple of stars on this one. So, everybody, we are going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the stars first, and then I'm going to do the helmet. So, yeah, we're going to... Okay, I'm going to start in the top corner, and let's just see what we got going here. There. Oh, we're getting good stars tonight. There we go. I'm getting a couple on the frog, but that's okay. We will have a couple of spots aren't too bad. There we go. All right. Get some in the background down here. Don't get on the frog. Don't get them on the frog. It's okay if they're on the asteroid. There we go. Couple down there. Space frog. Yes. This is important. Want to have a few more in there. We don't want there to be any question that this frog is in space and not underwater. No. <laughs> Kidding. All right. I'm going to add a couple more back in here. So we have a few just to kind of complete the illusion. Oh, yeah. Just kind of trying to get a few, a few larger stars in the places where I need them. I know they're not like, they're kind of, they're not round stars, unfortunately. Awesome. Of stars. Space frog. Okay, helmet. So we're going to go, I, I'm gonna, I swear I'm going to like clear my deck here just because I, I would like some space. <laughs> space painting. You would like some space. Okay. So what we're going to do is... There we go. As long as I get my outline in... I think I'll be in good shape. And it can't be like an actual like circle sphere because, you know, he doesn't have a round head. Frogs have like sort of a sort of a squashed ovoid. So I love that it's not a perfect Okay, I got that part in. Okay, cool. We're getting we're getting a little spacesuit action or space helmet action going on for this frog. I, I I've got to have to lead in just a nice hint, nice hint of uh, you know space helmet glass here, just a bit, but <laughs> hey, good times. Yeah, we're just gonna work this in. This is a um. Oh gosh, a uh, a Catherine Jones style space helmet. If you don't know who Catherine Jones is, uh, she always did these. She does a lot of lot of older science fiction paintings where they had these kind of classic glass helmets on. <laughs> Just gonna freehand the circle out here. There we go. Woof. Okay. All right. I want. I want. I want a glare on this side. There we go. And let's see here. Let's get the uh, a little little slight reflection on the back side. So we got this in here. Cool. I wanted to fuzz that a bit. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Yes. That's what we wanted. Oh yeah. Space frog. Space frog in the house. All righty. We're going to go in for the old artist signature here. If I can still get... If this paint hasn't completely died on me. All right. There we go. I, 
I always end up on black market. I got to change up the music. Sorry, folks. And there we go, folks. I present to you Space Frog. There we go. This is fun. I actually haven't done kind of a uh, kind of a cartoony one in a while, so that's a, that's fun. <laughs> Take two on coffee mugs. You got it. Oh my gosh, we were talking about that earlier. This is going straight onto the Teespring store. So yeah, we'll we'll coffee mug the shit out of this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Also, catch my weekly stream over on Twitch every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Thank you.